Greetings YouTube! Time for another bargain video. Um, and I'm going to be doing a media section now. It's going to be a little bit different because I actually have more DVDs to fit on the table. But we have a hardcover, uh, on, yeah, hardcover book. The Practical Manual of Camping, Hiking, and Wilderness Techniques. How to Live Outside in Complete Comfort, Enjoyment, and Safety. It's for my wife. She's been interested in that. We have the BBC Books Doctor Who The Legend Continues Five Decades of Time Travel by Justin Richards. And I bought this as a gift for a friend because I am not that big a Who fan. For me, Tom Baker will always be Doctor Who. I was bad and I bought myself some books. Uh, Thomas More's Utopia and Theories of the Universe from Babylon Myth to Babylonian Myth to Modern Science, edited by Milton K. Munitz. And I think I have heard of this book before. I did not pay four dollars for it. I paid less than a dollar. A um, dollar. We have the uh, the National Audubon Society Field Guide to the Night Sky, which are all very boring covers, but they're very good. And I think I paid it dollar for that or something like that, or two bucks, something like that, maybe two, maybe a dollar. This is a blank leather-bound journal that my wife like. It's got a little tassel that you can use to tie it close with, and she liked that. Again, I paid less than a buck for it. So, now I'm going to grab some videos over here, so I'm going to put them down, um, because I just didn't have space for them. So we've got the others, and this is the special edition, got d double, multiple DVDs, I like that. The original sci-fi masterpiece, The Day the Earth Stood Still, two-disc special edition, awesome. Earth Girls Are Easy special edition, um, and The Exorcist, the version you've never seen. I don't know if I've ever seen it or not. I tell you the truth, I haven't seen Exorcist in a really long time. Um, and we have Wayne's World, which is still in, wrapped in plastic. The Sons of Katie Elder, a classic John Wayne novel, uh, novel uh, movie with Dean Martin, um, who I have, happen to really enjoy as an actor. One Million Years B.C. with Raquel Welch. Kong, King of Atlantis. Now, this is an animated film. I've never heard of it. Um, but somehow, King Kong and Atlantis, to, to my mind, really fit well together. Um, maybe the reason Atlantis was sunk was because of kaiju battles. Who knows? Um, then we have... Uh, uh, the, uh, 007, The uh, World is Not Enough. Uh, we have The Man in the Iron Mask with uh, DiCaprio and uh, Jeremy Irons. Uh, Water World, which I have not seen in years, and uh, it is a horrible science fiction film, but um, I think it's a wonderful fantasy fable. We have Arnold Schwarzenegger's The Running Man, um, the special edition, which is supposed to take place in 2019. It's fast approaching. Uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, the original Disney classic, and that's still wrapped in plastic. Um, the Sin City Recut Extended Unrated Version. This comes with a uh, comic. I got that for two bucks. Mannequin, a movie that made me smile the first time I saw it, and I've seen it more than once on uh, cable television, and I always enjoyed it. An interview with a vampire, which I have not seen in years. Uh, the Count of Monte Cristo, um, which is uh, a story that, for some strange reason, I found myself thinking about recently. Then I stumbled upon a copy at a, at a, at a yard sale. The Paranorman, which is not a great deal. We paid eight bucks for it, but it was on sale at Target. And my wife loves this movie. We watched it with uh, commentary. It was quite good. Um, Kurt Russell's uh, Stargate. This is the ultimate edition. I have no idea what that means. Uh, Robert De Niro's Taxi Driver, and the movie I plan on watching later tonight, Deep Star Six. Not all aliens come from space. Save your last breath to scream, which along with Abyss and Leviathan was a wonderful trilogy of underwater films that came out all at the same time. And I have a deep and abiding fear of being in water I can't see through, but I love underwater stories. So, here we have the media section of the, uh, of the video. Welcome back. Now we are into the non-media section of the video. So over here we have a bag that says one fish, um, two fish, red fish, blue fish, because my wife is a major uh, fan of Doctor Who. We picked it up at Target for a dollar. don't know what we're going to do with it yet. Maybe we'll use it as a gift bag, but it was cool. This is a um, hand crocheted uh, cotton top that my wife found at a flea market or a yard sale today. It was, you know, it was an indoor flea market, yard sale. It was a community thing um, for three bucks, and she kind of likes it. So it was, it's, it's got a nice weight to it. 
and obviously something you wear over something else. Um, then we have a set of shin guards, which I purchased specifically because I'm putting together a suit of cosplay post-apocalyptic armor, and I thought that they would do that, would, would fit right in that to that vibe very well. Um, I got a box of, uh, a very large box of pencils, 30 of them, which I picked up for 33 cents. I like mechanical pencils, um, and now I've got enough to last me like the next five years. Here we have two dragons, which I picked up on sale at Michael's, the crafting store. This is a four-headed um, dragon. Maybe it's kind of like a Hydra thing going on there because it doesn't actually have wings, but it fits very much into the into the Hydra vein to my mind, and a Pyro Hydra because it's red. So that would mean that to me that means fire. Um, and a very cool semi-translucent Chinese-style dragon. It's, it, 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 you can actually see through the body slightly, um, which I really liked because he had a really wonderful mustache. Uh, my wife has a big thing for lungs for Chinese dragons. We have a set of uh, their uh, yak tracks, which are for your shoes. You slip them on to help you walk on ice because I'm notoriously clumsy on ice. Pick those up for two bucks. Uh, I've always wanted to try them and new pairs are like $25. So I'm like two bucks, I'll try them and if I like them, I may get one, um, get a newer pair because, you know, just in case these are slightly dry. I haven't found that out yet. Um, we have a glow-in-the-dark star set, which also comes in a nice little tin. that has got, you know, moons and planets and stars and things, which I bought specifically for a friend of mine who is uh, a big fan of glow-in-the-dark things. So there you go. Uh, we have a tripod, which was never used. It's the Targus Gripton Pro Portable Tripod. Um, which lets you grab it, wrap it around trees and branches and poles and stuff. Heavy duty, flexible tripod for your digital SLR camera and camcorder. Um, so I thought I'd give this a try and I paid two bucks for that. So um, I figure I can't lose for two bucks if I don't like it. I donate it. Um, then we have a, uh, a digestible wrench and this is a 10 inch adjustable wrench and uh, adjust a box called forged alloy steel. What I liked about this is that you turn this to change the size, uh, but it's narrow and it's 10 inch. It's got a nice reach. And I kind of like that. And it comes down on top of the bolt. Um, and it gives you, to, it gets, you're going to get coverage on four sides, which is a better grip than a lot of adjustable wrenches, which only cover on three sides. Um, so I thought that was nice and I paid a dollar for it. So I don't think I can lose there. Um, this is a gutter uh, device. It actually extends, it telescopes out and allows you this, this spray nozzle here sprays water out so you can blow out the leaves and garbage and things in your gutters. Now I only have a one small section of gutter but this means I can clean it without getting a ladder out because the section is on my porch and over my stairs so reaching it full length is difficult. So this I don't have to reach. I paid two bucks for it so I don't think I could lose on that one. And then we have this cane. Now this cane is got a lovely patina on it. It's, uh, the wear characteristics on it are just great. The, this screws off if I want to, and this screws in half if I want to. When I say half, um, well, this is a very loose definition of the word half, because you'll notice this is about nine inches long. My spread is about a little bit, yes, yeah, but almost 10 inches long, which is half the length of the upper section because the person that owned that cane was a 90 year old tiny little woman. I paid three dollars for it and I paid it because of the story, because it's very very small and cute, and because of the, the wear on this just made me smile because you could tell that it had been used and, 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 and uh, caressed by a, a, a person's hand for years. Um, good, glad to say that the woman in question is not dead. <laughs> she just went into a home where she doesn't need the cane anymore. Um, so I thought it was cool, and I and I kind of those kind of things get to me. So there you go. Uh, so there you go. We got some tools, and I got some uh, figures. I'll be reviewing in detail in the future, and I got something as a gift for a friend of mine. Um, and I got something for my camera. I'm also going to see how that works out. I'll probably use that tomorrow and see how it functions. Uh, maybe I can do a review on the thing that's holding up. The camera. That would be vlogceptional now, wouldn't it? Hmm. I'll have to get a mirror. Um, but there you go, folks. This has been the bargain video for this week.